Ratio betas got it all. It is just like interval data, except that we add on the fact that it has a natural zero. Just like interval, bless you, but with a natural zero. What I use as the example there. Um, well, use the money one already. The money one. If you have zero dollars in your bank account, that means you have no money whatsoever. So, like a, a bank account is a good example, or an amount of money. So we have this nominal stuff, categories only, can't put in order. Ordinal could have categories or numbers, you can put them in order, but the differences are, are meaningless. You can't subtract them and have it mean how much better one was than the other. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Interval, they can be ordered, the differences are meaningful. That's our temperature version where we can say one temperature is this much hotter than another one. It gives us some reasonable scale that we can think about that makes sense to us. And then it just doesn't have a natu natural zero, which means that zero doesn't mean there's none of something, it just means, well, it could be on a scale. This is t a lot of times scale based. And then our ratio is just like the interval. Order, differences are meaningful. We just happen to have a natural zero, where zero means there is nothing of that, that category or value anymore. How many people feel pretty good about the four categories or four measurements that we just talked about? Okay. We've just done a whole lot of talking about different vocabulary. Were you happy with this vocabulary? I don't know if you're happy with this vocabulary. But do you understand some of the terms we're going to be using in this class to discuss statistics? Parameters dealt with what now? Good. Statistics were for what? what? Good. A census would deal with what? Okay, everything in the population. Very good. Uh, we have qualitative. What's, what's qualitative again? Is it numerical or not? And quantitative, we had two types of quantitative data. Tell me what they were. Good. Discrete was uh, infinite or was it countable? Which one? Countable. Good. Uh, countable, give me an example of something that is now continuous. Example of something that is continuous. Temperature. Temperature. Good. Anything that can be measured. Very good. Okay, you guys have a good understanding of this. Uh, let's see if we have any homework. What I'd like you to do... It's section 1.3, page number is, I think that's a 16, 1 through 28. It's dealing with a lot of this vocabulary, so get this down, read through that section, and guys, I will see you next time. Have a great day.